queen is poised to hunt, ready for, to find fresh protein for her larvae. Let's see what happens. So this is a relatively new queen of mine. A little bit of background and history on her because I haven't shown her off to you all yet on this channel. She is a Mimesia queen and she has some lovely brood here. In the total there we have I think seven larvae, six or seven larvae here um, and are doing really well. Now a colleague from work uh, found her in his pool, um, rescued her uh, but thought she was basically dead so handed her over to me. A couple of days later I locked her away in a test tube, um, didn't want to check on her for a long time and then finally I decided to have a little look and noticed that she had some eggs. So I was very excited at this and I thought alright I'll try not to disturb her again but I'll just give her what she needs, some nice sugars, some sugar water in her outworld, some nice fresh water and occasionally add some protein. And now I'm happy to be able to share this beautiful Mimesia Tassata Queen with you. Now there's not a lot of people that collect this queen and she is very large and she's got some unique colors to her and you'll be able to see that in a little bit but she is very aggressive very aggressive and a great hunter so stay tuned and you'll be able to see her in action. She carefully and delicately moves her brood here exposed to the light so she's trying to just put them away all together somewhere protected that she can look after them. So this is going to be really good to have a look at what happens next. So what I've decided to do here is to introduce some crickets, some live crickets here. I've dropped two in uh, for a hungry brood. She's going to need them. Here we can see one of the crickets just drinking some of her sugar water. One of the crickets has gone in. Leah. Probably not the best spot you want to go right now, um, but yes. So Mimesias, if you don't know, they like to hunt their food to drag back fresh protein uh, for their brood, the ever hungry brood that need a continual supply of this protein. So very essential when I choose to use crickets that I get from the local pet store. I know that are safe, um, don't have any mites or any pests or anything on them at all. Um, no toxins from sprays. Now it wasn't long before the queen was out and looking. Here we can see her. And she's eyeing off one of the crickets here and there she goes she's just chasing one down now they're quite quick these crickets and because of their strong hind legs they can kick her off so she retreats back into her uh, test tube but she'll be back and here she is straight into action again she's noticed it noticed one of the crickets and she is chasing after it oh nearly got her there now as you can imagine she has those large mandibles which she grabs onto the prey and then she has a very powerful uh, stinger on the end. Here the cricket had rushed into the test tube, definitely not the spot you want to be, and she runs it after it to scare it back out again. Now Mimesia or Bulance, uh, the genus has very large eyes, they're very good hunters, and this queen I've found is especially aggressive. Now she knows there are crickets out here and she is hunting them down. It may seem uh, crazy that she can't see it, but she is watching and she is waiting. She knows they're out here and she's trying to find them. A little bit of grooming. Let's see how she goes now. Look at that beautiful little red tip to her abdomen. She's seen one and there she is chasing. She is going after it. Amazing to watch them hunt. Uh, sometimes it's quite comical. Um, they can be quite clumsy hunters. Um, some of the bull ant species. Some are super aggressive and get straight into it. Others are very careful and probably a little bit careful in this stage um, because she is a sole queen, a sole provider for her larvae at this stage where other workers won't have to worry. But she is getting involved here and she is chasing these crickets down. Skipping over the water, hiding over the edge here as she goes in to try and, wow, oh, the cricket has made a mistake and she has got it. She's grabbed it with her mandibles right around the neck. And as she uses her mandibles, she is crushing. And there, look at that. The abdomen curls up and the stinger at the ready. As the sting immobilizes the cricket. The 
that she is using her mandibles quite well here to actually kill and crush the head of this cricket. And it looks like the cricket is not moving at all as she drags her prey around. Fantastic that we've been able to get some footage like this. Have to feel sorry for that cricket though, but it's life. So here we can see how powerful these ants are. This cricket is quite a decent size, but she is managing to easily pull it around by the head and she, she's going to make sure that it's completely dead and no harm to her larvae before she takes it home. And there it is, it is dead. And back into her home she goes. So you can see here she's gone into her home, I came back a little bit later and she's dragged the cricket inside to the nest and she will feed that to her brood. Now she did something quite strange here, she grabbed one of the larvae and dragged it straight outside and dumped it in the outworld. Very very strange thing to see. But later on I checked on her and she'd taken the larvae back inside the nest and was feeding these crickets to the larvae. So a central protein needed and um, I'm glad I was able to share this with you and I hope you enjoyed seeing a Mimesia bull ant in action. Very powerful, very large species, this Tassata, and what an absolutely beautiful queen that I'm privileged to have in part of my collection. And hopefully I can get a really nice colony going of these ants. Adding to my Mimesia collection that I do have, and this is a little bit of a different one, so it's really nice to be able to share her with you, and hopefully I'll be able to do some updates as well. But I don't want to disturb her too much because I want her colony to grow. So I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, that I was able to share here today, and there's plenty more great content to come on this channel. Well, none of this would be possible without my wonderful Patreon, so thank you to Medical Carcass 9, Gordon C and Ant Nation, and the many other Patreons that I have as well. Thank you so much for your support, it means a lot, and it means that I can keep on making videos like this. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel, and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information, and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support, thank you very much. Well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. There's a video there recommended for you by YouTube, and one that I've picked that I think you might really like if you like watching bullets. Thank you, and remember, happy and keeping.